Hey everybody, so today we are going to take a quick look at the recently released firmware from Dwarf Labs. This firmware also applies to the Dwarf 2, which is the telescope that I have, and brings some features that will improve a lot the quality of your images. So let's start with the most important one, which is dark frames, uh, because now not only we have the ability to take dark frames, but you can also choose the settings. You can choose the shutter speed, the gain, the resolution, and the number of files you want to take for your darks. You can take multiple sets of darks to match the DSO that you want to capture. In the past, this was not possible because dark frames would be uh, automatic and have only 15 seconds of exposure time. I had also some problems with my images in the past and uh, I had some doubts if the darks were being applied. But now you can go to parameter, click apply and you can choose the set of darks you want to use. On the left you now have these three dots and you can access the icky mode, darks, to take a new set of darks and also the curves. On the last firmware I had some problems with the histogram because I couldn't see the curves. I could adjust the line but I couldn't see the curves but now it's all fixed. Another great feature is this little eye on the, the left and if you press everything disappears. You have only your screen which gives you a more immersive uh, experience to share with your family or with your friends and it's also very good if you want to capture your screen like I'm doing right now. To bring everything up again you just press long and that's it. There are also some new modes like the gen general mode, deep sky mode already existed, the solar system and you can tap whatever you want to see and you don't need to go to Atlas. You have the auto capture and you have the panorama mode. I will use only the, the deep sky mode. And on this mode, you can go directly to Atlas or skip. And on parameters, you now have uh, auto parameter enable or disable. If you disable it, you can choose your settings and another change you don't have the saying anymore of the IR cut or pass now we have visual or astro visual is this one astro is this one what it does is that activates the IR cut filter on or off like you can see and I think this is it no other changes were made so hope you like it see you next time